Hey, what's poppin' collective? This is the Spiritual Assassinator coming back with more messages for you guys. So, it comes a time in our life that we have to admit that we have fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Um, and once we fuck up, we gotta learn how to get back on track and how to start the healing process. I must admit, guys, I had addiction problems and it took me for a whirlwind. You know, um, majority majority of the time throughout my life. But I am not my past. You are not your past. What can we do to overcome addictions? How can we um, find peace within ourselves so we can find the path to follow that God is trying to show us? Um, for, for, first and foremost, I say get rid of any friends that are um, addict have any addictive behaviors. Uh, you are who you hang around. Sometimes you just have to get away from these people. I know that you love them. I know that you care for them. I know that you want to be there for them, but they are killing you. Literally, they're dragging you to hell. You have to get away from anybody that's involved in toxicities. Um, you have to break away from the cycle. You have to end the cycle out. But this discussion, I want to um, help you guys on how to wean off of your addictions, uh, what elements that we can use from the earth that can help us get past these addictions. I know because it worked for me. Guys, I promise you, look at me now. You know what I'm saying? I feel beautiful. I'm wonderful. My brain is on point on everything because I have took the initiative step to tell myself mentally first that I want different. I want change. I want to see uh, my myself different in the next 10 years. I want to be different. I want to feel different. I want to look different. I demand to be different. I demand change. You know what I'm saying? After going through a lot of karmic cycles and dealing with a bunch of bull, who wants to continue to keep living life for the next 40 or 50 years in dismay? No one does. So I just want to give you guys a quick, some quick keys that help me out. Um, some, some good advice to help you guys out to overcome any addictions that you're going through. And the first addiction that I'm going to address is alcohol and cocaine, um, uh, and the tools that we can use to, um, get us to begin healing. Um, cause I know it's not going to be an easy thing to do, but we have to start somewhere and that somewhere is in your mind first you have to tell yourself yourself your mind and your subconscious that this is what you want so okay nobody make you only you have to have that personal power that control to uh manipulate your brain in such a way that you're not living in your old self anymore you want to change that old self into higher vibrations and the way to, of doing that is taking back your god-given birthright which is your brain the control that you have over your brain all right so guys let's go ahead and tap into these tap into these messages so i just made up a poem for you guys so i don't know about heart but i'm going to read it to you because i feel like that not only does it help me out because i have my own personal prayer but i have a prayer for the collective and i want to share this poem with you guys poem prayer with you guys <laughs> so without further ado before we start into the session let's just go ahead and uh start off with a, a prayer to the universal god to the to, to the intelligence the mind the intelligent mind of the universe to the creator to our our mother and father you know what i'm saying so let's go it's a, it's a prayer to god for our addictions and it go like this i call mm, i call upon you creator on the god to guide me strengthen me and give me the ability to heal my mind body and spirit today i take the i take the action to step into my power and take over my life and to take over my life i pray that you remove all of these toxins from my body i pray that you help me fix my mind help me beat any obstacles that's that was meant to destroy me i ask that you initiate me through spirit so i can be reborn through your spirit i ask that you protect and guide and guide not only me but the collective as well as we're battling through these diseases, I ask that you come in and step into your power and deliver all of us from um, the, these toxicities and these karmic cycles that we have been repetitive, been completing. I thank you. I thank you in advance. I thank you for the good, the good times, the bad times, the lessons. May you continue to continue. May you continue to bless us through your son, Jesus Christ. 
Amen. Namaste. Ashe. I hope that prayer helped you guys out because we have to uh, call on our spiritual team, our ancestors, our archangels, the creator to help us get through these these hard times that has been placed upon us in our path. So I hope that prayer helped you guys out. I just wrote that poem for you guys, but I felt that poem too. So I got in the energy of it and put my own little two cents into it. But that poem is a poem. So the prayer could be a poem. I keep saying poem. So that prayer is for you guys. So Without further ado, let's tap into these messages. So I have, we're going to start with what can we use for our addictions as far as um, in the divinity form, like using stones and stuff. So with the stones, they are going to help you um, suppress your cravings um, and help manifest um, living a clean life so and it helps y'all i promise you you put your intentions into these crystals you tell them what you want them to do and what your intentions is and they will help you get past these addictions yo it's all about what you want because you control it's it's not even about the crystals it's actually about your mind but the crystals crystals do help but it's about you picking and choosing finally to live uh in freedom instead of being bondage down to toxicity um, a double karmic cycle that you've been complete, that you've been on forever. So <laughs> let this, let me stop babbling and let me continue to read. So I have healing addictions with divinity advice. I know it may be hard, but you got this. You have control over your mind. You have the ability to resp to reshape your life. You have the right to choose you and to choose happiness and to ch and to choose to be free. From bondage is what I got with healing with addiction addictions. So without further ado, let's tap into these stones that you can use. I have first stone you have I have up here is Amphius. It helps with courage, overindulgence, and addictions. Cornelian, it gives motivation and understanding to overcome negative conditioning and learn and learned habits. Garnet, it helps you to hold on to what is good and let go of what is harmful. The, the next stone I have is Lepidite. It brings deep emotional healing, helps to release bad habits, toxic patterns, blockages, and fears. The next one I have is Kytrin. It, it, it is excellent for overcoming depression, fears, and phobias, so often linked to bad habits. Okay, so guys, these are some stones that you can get to you can, um, to help um, alleviate some of uh, the addictions that you have. It also, you can also sleep with them under your pillow uh, so you can manifest things quicker or you can carry them around in your pocket, you know what I'm saying, to um, help get the energy from the stones to help alleviate whatever issues that you may be going through. The next part of this session on um, dealing with um, addictions is we can also use certain herbs um, to take to um, actually help heal us as well. So with combining herbs and crystals together in your prayer, you're on your way to healing and becoming a better person. A, you're going to see things from a whole different perspective. You're going to be pure. You're going to be in your path. You're going to be follow, following the light. So I hope you take this information um, very serious because it, you, we, you... I know I had to take it very serious, serious. That's why I'm able to talk about it now because it worked for me and I know it'll work for you. All right. So let's go ahead and tap into herbs for addictions. So we have cayenne pepper. It's used for managing alcohol cravings and meditating um, with and meditating withdrawal symptoms. What it does, it increases metabolism, stimulates endorphins and boosts appetite. How it works, it is you eat it raw. But in small increments because it is fiery. But you can use it as a powder too and put it in your food. Ginseng. Used for treating withdrawal symptoms of opiate and alcohol dependency. What, what it does, boosts metabolism and helps, um, and helps eliminate toxins. How it works, eat it raw, lightly steamed, or add it to hot water to make a tea. So... As you can see, most of these things, uh, these herbs that we can take, we can either add it to our foods or we can take it as a tea uh, or use it. Yeah. Or use it as a powdered spice. The next one I have is St. John's wort. It is um, used for alleviating withdrawal symptoms of opiate addiction and reducing alcohol and, not, and nicotine cravings. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. And nicotine cravings, what it does, increase levels of serotonin, which helps to boost mood. 
how how to make it how to make it swallow in a capsule form as a supplement so i'm pretty sure that you can buy this from a store you know what i'm saying over the counter and this will help you alleviate those problems that you may be associating with um with opiates addiction uh nicotine withdrawals and alcohol uh saint warts is the the way to go and it does and it do come in capsule form the next one i have is kava 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 is used for reducing cravings for alcohol heroin nicotine and cocaine what it does, it helps heal anxiety and um, and it will draw out your addictions. It is uh, it will, what I want to say, suppress your cravings is what I'm getting. So yes, it will suppress your cravings and anxiety that you have over the drugs. How to take it? It can be taken um in a tea, a tincture, or a capsule form. All right. The next one we have is uh, licorice, 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 <laughs> licorice is used for easing alcohol withdrawal. What it, what it does, acts as an anti-inflammatory and, and antioxidant. How to take it, drink it in a tea form. The next one we have is dandelion, used for managing alcohol cravings and withdrawal, as well as reducing sugar cravings. Did not know that. See? That's why we have to research and learn things, y'all. We learn something new every day. How to take it. Eat, eat the raw or dried roots or leaves. Take as a tea or tincture or consume in a powdered form. All right, guys. So these are some great facts. I just want to continue uh, with the rest of the herbs before we end the video. And the next um, tea we have, tea. Uh, the next um, herb we have is milk thrustle. And this is used for improving liver function and thought to help reduce alcohol cravings. What it does, its active ingredient is called silly marin. It detoxifies and heals the liver and gallbladder. How to take it? You take it as a supplement in a capsule form. The next herb we have is kudzu, used for reducing, and it's spelled K-U-D-Z-U, all right? And um, it is used for reducing alcohol intake and cravings. So it reduces the cravings of alcohol. What it does, studies are still exploring how it works, but there are several active ingredients thought to aid in curbing alcohol consumption. I'm trying to see what a name is. But anyway, and how you take it, um, it comes in a tea form. And then remember, tentacle, uh, tent a tincture is a medicine made by dissolving dr a drug into a sugar. I mean, a drug into an alcohol. I'm sorry. Yeah, but they're just, just saying for kudzu, they just have a bunch of different ingredients that is thought to aid curbing alcohol consumption is what I'm getting. So, guys, I hope that this was useful to you. I know it was useful to me. I use Amphius a lot. Um, that's the stone that actually guided me through. Lap Lapez Lazuli helped me out a lot. Um, um, Onyx helped me out a lot. Um, what else helped me out a lot? A, a lot of stones, but those are the main ones I carry. Um, what's my other one? Um, I can't think of the name of it right now. What is the name of my stone? Obsidian. Obsidian helped me out a lot too. And it take and it keeps bad energy away from you. You also want to sage. Uh stay away from uh, stay around, uh, stay away from people who are in toxicities. Detox your body. Drink plenty of water. Um, find a hobby to get into. Uh think of something art, painting, rapping, singing. Go out to a park, go dance, do something that you normally don't do. You feel me? So, guys, I hope this message helped you guys. If you need me, I'm here for you. I am the Spiritual Assassinator. You can reach me on um, Facebook under Starseed. I hope to hear from you soon. And remember, continue healing. You got this. I believe in you, baby. Talk to you soon. Peace.